My name is Chris Johnson, and um, I have a background in uh, physical therapy, uh, uh, personal training, and tr coaching, and athletics. And um, I had, through those times, I had uh, developed different uh, situations in my hip. Um, I met with Dr. Fetchison, and I had a total right, a left hip replacement, which went very well and very happy with, yeah. Before surgery, it was going on for quite a while. As I uh, worked with people, uh, my left, all my flexibility started reducing. Uh, I ran into a lot of pain. Sleeping was very difficult. And um, finally, as my uh, fiance, she said, we need to go to somebody, I have a place. And um, we went to, we ended up going to CV Orthopedic, which she is familiar with too, because she goes there. And we met up with Dr. Fetchison then, and he talked to me about what we can do for the hip. Um, prior to surgery, it, it was bad. It was, uh, it just got really horrendous with um, lack of sleep, pain increasing, uh, limping, gait poor, the whole thing, you know, and um, a lot of my people that I was working with, they were wondering, you know, what's going on, you know, and I was like, well, I'm experiencing a little bit of pain, which was a lot of pain. Uh, we tried, we went with a uh, shot, which worked great, uh, cortisone shot, and that first one got me through the summer, and then we tried through with the second one, and then that one was, uh, it just couldn't really do much because the pain was horrendous. Well, so prior to surgery, a lot of pain, a lot of gait impingement and um, a lot of problems, yeah. Yes, when, well, after, um, once I met with Dr. Fetch and I'm saying we're gonna go and get this done, um, he, he was just great, you know, he has so, so much compassion for you and you wouldn't think that, you know, because he has a very straight-lined um, personality, which is what it is in the office, but, uh, Fabulous guy, and he just, he knew I was nervous about it because I'm, I'm not a needle guy and all that kind of stuff. And he had so much compassion for me with that. And uh, he said, okay, we're gonna do it. And with, with such confidence too, which I love. When someone has confidence and they say, we're gonna, I'm gonna do a great job and this is gonna be it. I said, man, I'm in. And I said, I said, you're the man. He goes, I am the man. And I, said, and I was so happy because he was, because uh, went in and we, um, went to Tom's River uh, same day surgery and they were fabulous there. Um, great group of people. I, I, I was anxious, of course, you're anxious, you're gonna get your hip taken out and put a new one in. Um, so they, uh, every single person kept me very calm, very happy, you know, ready to go. And then when it was over, it was over and I was, they had me up walking a couple steps. Okay, we're good, you're in a wheelchair. Okay, let's get you in the car and out the door you go. And it was just a great, Great time, constantly checking up on you the next day, a couple hours later, that type of thing. But I had a great experience with uh, the whole surgery experience. Yes, I had the, uh, when I, um, after the surgery, the next day, um, Seaview Orthopedic had a visiting nurses coming to the house. I went with them for three weeks. They were excellent. But, uh, VN, right? VN or well, visiting nurses. Anyway, they sent out a uh, person three times a week. It got me back up and running. And uh, after I was let go with them, then I went off to outpatient physical therapy, which was, uh, that's been fabulous. Still at it right now. I'm two months and a week out right now. And I'm uh, still going therapy, but I, you need it. You need to get therapy. You need to get back on your feet and get back to normal living through that. For a person that's going in for surgery, first of all, you have to find a, a great place, and that would be CV Orthopedics. Um, if it's your hip and your knee, you're, you're gonna be talking to Dr. Fetchison, right? With that in hand, there's gonna be some x-rays, there's gonna be some talking about what you need to do, and then you're gonna have to, you know, take some steps to get therapy prior to, and then once it comes time to for surgery, 
this is when you, the doctor and you are going to agree upon it and then, then you're going to be committed to the surgery and you'll be better off when that's all finished.